Welcome in the makeup therapy. I'm Manuela. I'm 43 years old, mom of two girls, and I love to play with colors. And here is my makeup therapy. <laughs> so um, today I want to use. Um, I want to have a make a eye look. I really don't know exactly what I will do, but I know that I choose this palette by Beauty Bay uh, with collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. And here is the the colors. There are beautiful shimmers in and some interesting. I hope that I will create something interesting. Um, so if you are interested to, um, you know, um, beat the old palettes, this is the channel for you. Consider to subscribe and if you like it, leave me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, leave me a thumbs down. That helps algorithm anyway. And if you're willing to stay with me in touch, leave a comment. So let me just prepare myself quickly. I will put some um, uh, eyeshadow base and that will be the Zoeva, uh, my favorite, uh, current favorite. I do also using um, the Pilouise one, but kind of this base is my favorite. It's not that heavy with color and the shadows are working very well on it. So that's that's what I'm using happily uh, for last month and it was not uh, my choice it was kind of accident choice you know I bought some bundle and there was the um, the primer I start to use it and I fall in love so really I really appreciate of that kind of um, shopping like bundles from some uh, brands and then you can really try something more than maybe you will pick if you uh, you know making individual shopping yeah. so I'll just tap it with the finger it's really this going so smooth whatever you're using finger sponge or for sponge I, I feel like it's a little bit of waste but finger or brush I still when I use brush I like to tap it but you know warmth of of the finger will make it <clears throat> really very even on the lid and I usually with this base I don't set the base that much I maybe set the upper part only because I feel like uh, the shadows are looking just better when I when I have a bit sticky base. So I will do this I will do this upper part only under my brow. I didn't make brow. <laughs> I'm doing them later and this is not a great order. I see that people are doing the um, the brow first and that has really good th there is sense behind it. <laughs> that's not that, that I'm ignoring it. No, no, no. I think that really it's a sense because you're not making dirty your foundation. So I'll use this shade. I'm putting the name of the shades later on the screen, so you will see it right now. Um, the reason for it is like, I have a very big astigmatism, so I don't see clearly. Um, and I really struggle. I love to read, but I'm really struggle with reading. Uh, my vision is not great in that sense, like symbols. Stuff like that was always was terrible for me. I read very slowly and even now I'm reading very slowly because my, my eyes are just not... Not for it. <laughs> they are for colors. <laughs> I'm much better with colors. So I <clears throat> hope you'll see me well. And um, I like to starting with the dark colors and I'm kind of feeling like... Um, I don't want to be too crazy today. But also other hand I want to be a bit crazy so it's... Decisions, decisions, hard decisions in my life. <laughs> uh, I think that I will start with this, um, maybe with this dark purple. I'm kind of into pinks and and purples, but into pinks, like really <laughs> into pinks. I will start with um, outer corner. Making myself some sketch. 
Now we'll be around the sketch I will be kind of building this color. Now to lift my eyes a little bit up. So and that will be the so I'm tapping and then I feel the the triangle which I create. You know, it will be the the blending situation will be there. It's just some kind of sketch. Okay. See. Now I will open the eye and I will kind of make it mm, more more the triangle when I open. I want to also have kind of nice shape. So I need to yeah. See, so create that kind of funny bird shape. <laughs> you see. Because the hooded eyes are funny, so you, you need to work with this hood. The hood. This color is beautiful. So I will not have any patchy moment. You didn't use it for a while. They need to be between people, <laughs> so you know, <laughs> I want to <clears throat> look kind of, you know, normal, <laughs> not over paint, but I have also that energy that, oh, let me do all, <laughs> all colors, you know, put yellow, put green, put purple, that vibe. Oh. Okay. And now I'm thinking that I really also want to put neutrals and I have no what now? And I also like this yellow. Maybe do yellow from the other side. Let's do. Let's do something weird. And this is how it's happening. Like I am going out of the mm, zone which will say that this will be you know normal look, like basic, super basic. It will be like medium basic. <laughs> because I'm going to this color. <laughs> so nice! And it's a bit crazy. And I'll put to either corner. Do that inner corner. Because when I will see this color, it's beautiful. When I will see this color here, I will know where I'm going with the rest. And maybe I will build around that combination the rest. No? Look at this color. It's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's bam, bim, bam, and it's like orangey on me, like orange yellow, but in the nice way, in, in the kind of um, pastel way, which is good. Uh, I have an olive um, skin tone, my skin tone is olive, and the yellows are like eaten by my skin, I don't know how to explain that, but they are not, it's not easy for me to put yellow. Yellow is challenging color for, for the for my skin tone to see now nice. This is very nice color. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 <laughs> you see, I want to go everywhere with this yellow. But we are not going everywhere with this yellow. New new new. Mm, need to do something different. That's right. So what we said we will do, and now um, staying in the same palette. Yeah, that's the moment when I'll pull other palette, you know, in normal. Okay, from inside we'll, we can go to this color. You know, guys, I didn't, I never used this bright side from her, her uh, just from inside here, like between the... I never use this this uh, this palette this bright side. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of summery moment. And it's a little bit going out of the box, but in a good way. Like no force, you know. 
Look at this. This is beautiful. Okay. That's surprising. Surprising pretty. I really like it. Wow. Okay. I see you. <laughs> I see you. Wow. What a nice colors. Summer is end and I figure out summer um, holiday, but ah, I still got up some sun. <laughs> On my holiday. On my life holiday. I'm counting days now to leave my home for my holiday. My very special holiday, the holiday of my dream. To visit my home. Visit place where I should belong. Where I belong in my heart. I'll be going to see my my family. My father. My family whom I don't know yet. We don't know also my father yet, but we will meet this year in one month. I will be there. Or even sooner than one month. Okay, counting days, I should say. Okay, I will take some blending brush. So I'm so excited, nervous, and all everything around between because already once I didn't make it. I was mm. I will take this pink here which is close to this yellow on that brush from uh, from this funny set which I'm showing you sometimes. Uh, from, this is brush from BH Cosmetics and they are kind of longer and and these brushes are like a little bit like broom so they have that kind of tip very nice brushes like so cool that I have it I bought it from Beauty Bay I want to blend the top edge of the this purple so nice it's looking very beautiful in person i hope you can see this i will add the side i need to add the more purple definitely Wow, that's beautiful. Mm. I'm not disappointed with this palette really. I think that uh, Nikki Tutorials is so amazing that everyone was thinking that it will be, you know, getting the palette from Nikki Tutorials, uh, they, they will be painting themselves, you know, it will be like doing the job. <laughs> And this is just eyeshadows which she created, and she creates so many beautiful looks with it. And I wish that she will do more and show us this, this more options which she was uh, having, uh, what kind of vision she was having to, to put, put these colors together. And obviously she is so talented that, yeah. Not many of us can do this. This looks like she she does for herself. Mm, so I don't think that her her talent versus the the products will be ever kind of you know match. I don't think so. It will be always kind of bitchy moment about her because she is very talented and people really expecting that the products as, are doing this this looks not her talent and her fingers you know <laughs> and hands and the knowledge which she own
And she put a lot of work to that what she's doing. I really, I really know a lot of people who are really talented. Like, like the talent is shocking, and they, they, they do minimum or nothing. You know, <laughs> I'm not a talented person. In general, I'm not. It's, I don't see myself that I'm talented at all. But uh, it's rather better to do and try and learn than than just you know cry. Oh, I'm not talented now. I'm not try it. You know. So I would say that I have like artistic soul, but I'm not talented. You know, <laughs> there is a gap. But because I have that soul and uh, I'm quite stubborn, I will try. We'll try to do things and with the YouTube, uh, you know, I was having that desire that, oh, I could do that. It's so cool to show, you know, your ideas, your colors. I enjoy that so much. And I, I did some, some looks, very poorly cosmetics, by the way, I had really like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like really poorly cosmetics. But I was doing some looks and I kind of like them. Even until now I like them, what I did with this, what I had, it's like, wow. And I got so much hate when I published that on, on the Sephora side. There was some Sephora side, like they was trying to build some community around makeup. I will go back to this yellow. <laughs> I got so much hate that I said that I don't, do, I don't deserve that, you know? This is just a makeup like I tried, I'm trying to do. I didn't write myself, I'm a pro and i will i just oh my god like no that was like that's not the things i want to ex, uh, experience i don't want to experience the hate of, of of that that i have some passion about it you know i i didn't choose the 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 part of 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 being the makeup artist because i don't feel that i have a talent to to be a makeup artist you know like in that sense that I don't want to work with, as a pro um, working with the clients because I don't feel like I have a talent to, to do that. But I have a desire of, in my soul, it's this artistic desire that I want to, you know, play with colors and I really love them. And that's what I was, you know, trying to show. And yeah, that's stopping for 10 years, more than 10 years, like 12 years to, to do anything about it. I did love colors and I, I did some pictures sometimes, you know, put on my page because I really enjoyed that um, on my page, like on my Instagram, there was like less pain, you know, and I know that YouTube is like, there's lots of hating people and many YouTubers are experienced that, especially when someone is really good about something. So I talk to myself that maybe I'm a safe zone because you know, I have a lack of talent, I know. I have a lack of talent, but I have a good eye for, for colors. And I know that too. I, I, I can feel like there is, there is something about it that I really like. Love colors and it's, it was in me for the long time. And it is in me every day. That's why I admire some nature, I admire the birds, which is so beautiful and this all of these colors i don't see very well the the details but i see colors there and i see these impressions which they give me and makes me happy and i think that if i can make a little bit happy with just showing colors or inspire you a little bit when you watch me that is so much because that means that i share myself with you so that's beyond the dreams you know and yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> We're talking about it and making color combination. And now, <laughs> look at this. This is, I, I really even don't feel like, do I want to have any shimmer? Because I feel like this is so cute. But there is some shimmers which I never use, like this one. I don't know if you can see even. It's like orange to orange to gold yeah orange with gold shimmer 
Mm, then I never use this one, but I don't think that today I will do that. It's blue. I did use this. This is this kind of multi-chrome blue. I don't like it today. I don't think that I use this one. It's another like orange. She likes orange with like peachy tone. She's cool tone, so peachy tone on her maybe that's very nice, but for me it's like meh. So this shimmers for me, it's a group of, I didn't use it because I don't feel that they suit me. I think that maybe this one, or maybe I used that once, this light one completely, it's a bit dry. Maybe this one a little bit in the inner corner, the light one. So this is the, the colossal day, I don't really enjoy. Okay, I will fix my face, I will be better and I will be just back. Okay, so I put some foundation, concealer, and I use for the cheeks, I use these two shades from the palette, like this and this, the blush, pretty intensive, very nice color. I use also this um, brownish color here, and I was using that brush, and I feel that this area did a little bit of nose contouring tiny little bit with that shade and then also from outside I just you know brush it a little bit like and I did a little bit more blending I didn't add any more color just this brown with with, with contouring I, I used a tiny little bit of that one and also I used this dark brown for a little bit contouring um, um, together along with my all-time favorite Kiko Milano bronzer it's beautiful so uh, camo concealer um, and uh, yeah, and I don't know what to do with down lower lashes. I really like how it's look even this mats, you know. Like I don't know what I want. Don't want to screw it. I really like it. Mm, not how much time we have? Don't have much time. But we'll do something on the lower lash line. Will not keep you here for nothing, right? We'll finish this. We'll finish this. I've stayed on this brush with this, some some small smart brush, and which one? <laughs> Mm. I'll go neutral. Go the brown. This, that brown. Yeah, I think that this is just so simply and it will be really looking nice. So all of wrinkles are just there. Even wrinkles which I don't have. Any recommendation for good powder for the people who have wrinkles? Write the comment if you watch me. I really need the advice. I'm not good with my powders. I feel like I missed some powder in my life. It's looking like pchum, my eyes are so pop out from this with these colors.
Okay, and I will, will take the small tiny little bit of so shimmer. I think that tiny little bit will not do bad. Clear my eyes. This is kind of things which I really like, my comfort zone. And this is the one I which I'm, I will use. And it's this one, this duo from. It's the most beautiful from all. <laughs> my favorite, and I have used it many times. <laughs> this is, taking this palette, and this is that kind of shade that for that shade I would buy the palette, you know? For me. <clears throat> for me. For me. Yeah. Sorry for singing, but I feel like. I'm the greatest showman. What did this show? Yes, please. This is so good. Just tiny. Just a little, little tiny, you know, little bit. Mm-hmm. I can help with that. No, I feel like maybe I should put someone else. Don't okay, I'll do. I'll do this weird one here a little bit. Just in the center. Hmm. Pick this this one above the yellow, okay? Okay, wow, this is so cool. Actually, I love it. Mm. <laughs> I cannot stop, you know. Good that I don't have time because I might be really... Definitely overpaint myself. That is the day today. Wow, but this is looking brilliant. Like, so cute. Color, I really didn't feel like this is color for me, but with this combination around this colors which are for me, this is another level. Like, how cute is that? This is very cute. Well done, Nikki. Well, well done, Manuela. <laughs> Good cooperation. <laughs> Thumbs up. I think it's so cute. Guys, cute or not cute? If it's so girly, what it is, you know? Obviously, that's my impression, and it's, who knows how it is. <laughs> that's an impression only. I don't have any lips here. Wait a minute. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I have to grab um, the, some lipstick, but I also grab the um, highlight from Ofra. Oh, what shade is that? Blissful. My shade is blissful. I think that a li little blinding moment it would be good to have, and I didn't use it for a long time. And I think that this is one of my beautiful, the best highlighters I have. I own in general. Very pretty. I want to kind of add some shimmer to my face. You look more juicy. So this is just a little bit here and there. And for the lipstick, I will be using some Wet n Wild lip liner. And I have some L'Oreal 
something. <laughs> Some paint lip lacquer. Yeah. And the shade is 102. There's a name, but you know. Yeah, it's a bit too much for me. It's looking cute, I mean like, but it's too much for me personally. It will dry a little bit and then I will add something different to kind of give them more my vibe, you know, moment. I didn't expect that this would go this way, like when I start this makeup, I didn't expect that my color story would go this way completely, like... So I was thinking more nervous... Really neutral look, like, kind of... As I'm going out, and I will be between people... It's good to look like... Damn... Like not too much lie on you, you know, because I don't really need much attention from people at all. So. But that's okay. Anyway. I hope I will work with it well. So this is just my little bit of brow. As you see, I'm, I'm very messy with this. I need to really train myself to start with the brow and then make concealer around them and the foundation and then not touch them, so that will be really crisp for the eye look, but you can see, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting also about mascara. <laughs> mascara and brow, that's my weakness. You know, for from from childhood, I like. I, I mean, I had quite good brow, quite strong brow, and uh, lashes was dark, so it never bothered me that much. That you know, my lashes are not not not. They have lack of mascara. Okay. They are dark, you know, so I can kind of. Keep the step, and I will be not bothering that much. Not that they are super long or something extra now, you know. But still dark enough. Happened with this? It's still, it's still like, you know, let's do some. Right, 
So I'm mixing this lacquer with the um, Christmas cookie. From the freestyle. To tone down a little bit. This Christmas cookie is well used. Yeah, I'll do this straight. My favorite. I don't know. It. <laughs> that was my daughter. And that's my final look for today. I hope that you guys like it, that you enjoy a little bit time with me, and that I will. Um, hear from you that you stay well that you feel good and i wish you all the best if you like it please leave me a thumbs up and comment and see you in the next time bye bye